And let's assume that Mark is going to deposit a thousand dollar in a bank for one year and in return he will receive 10% per annum. Therefore, what will be our interest amount? Our interest amount is principal times simple interest rate times time. So our interest amount is equal to 1000 times 10% times 1. This will give us $100. So let's draw a timeline. So today at time 0, which is now, Mark will deposit $1000. After one year, which is a year. So I'd like to know at time 0, today, now, is called what? We can call it present value, which we give it a simple PV. Why do we call it present value? Because this is the value at present the value at time zero. We have a synonymous for present value, which is called the principal, which we give it a simple P. What will be the value after one year? This will be the value in the future. It could be after one year, after six months, after three years, five years, 10 years. Therefore, since this will be the value in the future, we can call it future value, which we will give it simple FV. It has many synonymous, such as maturity value or cumulative value, or compound amount or face value. All of them refers to the value in the future. Therefore, I know that Mark will deposit today at time zero, a thousand dollars. He will receive an interest amount of hundred dollars after one year. Therefore, what will be the total amount, the future value at year one? So it will be a thousand dollars plus hundred equal to $1,100. Therefore, we could say that our future value formula is equivalent to our principal plus interest amount. Our future value is equal to a principal of $1,000 plus an interest of $100. This will give us $1,100. And this will be the first formula for future value. We know that future value is equal to principal plus interest. Also, we know that our interest amount is equal to principal times simple interest rate times time. Therefore, we could write our future value as principal plus principal multiplied by simple interest rate multiplied by time. Since we have the principal mentioned twice, we can take principal as a common factor. Therefore, we'll say that our future value equal principal multiplied by open bracket. For the first part, if we take principal as a common factor, what's left is one. Plus with the second part, if we take principal as a common factor, what's left is RT. So it will be plus RT close bracket. And this will be our second formula to calculate future value if we don't have an interest amount. So just substitute in the second formula directly. So let's try the second formula. Our future value equal a principal of $1,000 multiplied by open bracket, one plus simple interest rate of 10% times time of one year, close bracket. This will give us $1,100, which is exactly the same amount that we calculated earlier.